Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Taylor series expansion for the given function in the process of x plus 2 and y minus 1 up to third degree terms. So the given function is f of x comma y which is x square y square plus 2x square y plus 3x y square and the value of a you have to take from this term opposite sign minus 2 and the value of b we have to take from here the opposite sign which is 1. Now we have to write the formula for the Taylor series expansion that is f of x comma y equal to f of a comma b plus 1 by 1 plus a m into x minus a into f of x comma a comma b plus y minus b into f y of a comma b. After writing this first term, using this term, we can write the other two terms. This we have to treat like a plus b. Now we are going to write the a plus b whole square term. So 1 by 2 factorial. Now a plus b whole square is a square is the first term. So it will be in this form x minus a whole square f xx of a comma b then plus 2ab so 2 into x minus a into y minus b into f xy of a comma b then last term is b square which is y minus b whole square into f yy of a comma b in the same way the third part we have to write as a plus b whole cube form so 1 by 3 factorial. Now a cube will be in the form of x minus a whole cube f x x x of a comma b. This is like a cube. Now 3 a square b. So 3 a square and b and this f will be x x y of a comma b. Then plus 3 a b square. So a b square then f of x y y of a comma b the last term is b cube so that will be y minus b whole cube into f of y y y of a comma b so, we complete the Taylor series formula. Now, what are the derivative present we have to find? Before that, let us write this f of x comma y here. That is f of x comma y is, so we copied the function. And correspondingly, we have to find f of a comma b. a is minus 2, b is 1. So, we have to find f of minus 2 comma 1. So, this will be x square y square. So, 2 square into 1 square will be 4. Then 2 into x square. So, 2 into x square is 4 and y square is 1. So, 4 into 2. Then third term is plus 3 into 2 into 1 square which is 1. So, totally this is 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 6 which is 18. Sorry, a small correction. This is minus because we have x which is minus 2. So this is once again minus sign. So it is 6. Now let us find f x. We have to differentiate this. 2x into y square plus differentiation of this will be 4x into y and this will be 3y square. Differentiation of the x we have done and the constant we have kept as it is. Now corresponding fx of minus 2 comma 1 we have to find out. So if I substitute here, this will be 2 into minus 2 into 1 square plus 4 into minus 2 into 1 plus 3 into 1 square. Totally this is minus 4 minus 8 plus 3 totally minus 9. 
then we have to find f x x again 2x differentiation is 2 and y square is constant and whatever with x is the constant 4y and this will be 0 because purely constant now corresponding f x x of minus 2 comma 1 we have to find so this is 2 into 1 plus 4 into 1 which is 6 the next one we have to find f x x x all are constant so it is 0 so even when I take f x x of minus 2 comma 1 it is going to be 0 the next part we have to find f y partial differentiation with respect to y so first term is 2x into 2y and second term is 4x is a constant with y and next term is 6y so f y of minus 2 comma 1 we have to find out so 2 into minus 2 into 2 into 1 then plus 4 into minus 2 then plus 6 into 1 so totally the first term is minus 8 and again minus 8 plus 6 so it is minus 10 a small correction f y we have to take from here that is x square is constant into 2y so x square into 2y then with y what are the constant present is 2x square so plus 2x square then here 3x is a constant then into 2y so plus 3x into 2y so we have differentiated partially with respect to y now we have to find f y of minus 2 comma 1 so this will be here it is 4 4 to 8 first term is 8 then when i put minus 2 square here 2 square 4 4 to 8 plus 8 then when i put minus 2 here 3 to 6 6 to 12 so minus 12 this will be 4 now i have to find f y y so here the constant is first term 2x square this is purely constant so 0 and here whatever is with y is 6x so f y y of minus 2 comma 1 will be here 2 square 4 4 to 8 then when i put minus 2 here minus 12 that gives minus 4 then f y y y will be purely 0 because purely it is constant so f y y of minus 2 comma 1 is 0 now we also need f x x y but we have to find what is f x y first then only it is possible to find f x x y so this already got is differentiated with respect to y we have to differentiate with respect to x so here is f y this i am going to do differentiation with respect to x so 2x into 2y is constant then plus 4x then with x what are the constant is 6y and here f x y of minus 2 comma 1 but anyway we don't need f x y in this formula anywhere but we need f x y y f x x y so we don't have to find this value instead we can go for another differentiation with respect to x so f x x y will be differentiation of this with respect to x x is 1 so we get 4 y then this will be plus 4 and last term is 0 and here f x x y of minus 2 comma 1 when i put 1 we get 8 then we also need f x y y so what is already differentiated twice with respect to y we have to differentiate with respect to x so here it is 
we have to differentiate this with respect to x so this will become 4x plus 6 so which is 4x plus 6 so f x y y of minus 2 comma 1 will give 4 to the 8 which is minus 8 plus 6 which is minus 2 then after this we are going to substitute all these values in the Taylor series formula now on the left hand side we have f of x comma y for that we have to write the entire function the entire function is nothing but x square y square so let it let's write it here therefore x square y square plus 2 x square y plus 3 x y square equal to first is f of a comma b that is here f of minus 2 comma 1 6 so first term is 6 then plus 1 by 1 factorial bracket open we have x plus 2 into fx the value of fx from here is minus 9 so into minus 9 plus y plus 1 into fy which is 4 then bracket close plus 1 by 2 factorial x plus 2 whole square into fxx fxx value is 6 so this will become 6 plus 2 a b term so a actually this is y minus 1 so 2 a b term will be x plus 2 into y minus 1 into f x y f x y is actually we need that f x y here the one y which we differentiate with respect to x so we have to find this value also so f x y of minus 2 comma 1 will be when I put minus 2 here totally 2 into 2 into 2 minus 8 then again minus 8 plus 6 so totally this is minus 10 so it will become minus 10 here then plus y minus 1 whole square into f y y f y y is minus 4 so we put minus 4 here then the last part is 1 by 3 factorial x plus 2 whole cube into f x x x which is 0 so this part is 0 plus 3 x plus 2 whole square into y minus 1 f x x y which is 8 then plus 3 a b square into f x y y f x y y is minus 2 so here it is minus 2 and the last term is plus y minus 1 whole cube into f y y y which is 0 so that's all the terms after this just a rearrangement once again let's copy the term then first term is 6 so we put 6 then second term anyway this is 1 so minus 9 into x plus 2 so we take minus 9 into x plus 2 then this is plus 4 into y minus 1 plus 4 into y minus 1 then here we have to multiply this 2 factor inside so this is a 3 so we can write plus 3 into x plus 2 whole square we'll write it here plus 3 into x plus 2 whole square then once again if we multiply here 2 2 will get cancelled so we get minus 10 into x plus 2 into y minus 1 minus 10 into x plus 2 into y minus 1 then last term is here minus 4 
but after cancelling with this 2, you get minus 2. So minus 2 into y minus 1 whole square. Then coming to the last term, this part is 0 and the 3 factorial is 6. So here it is 24. We can cancel 24 divided by 6 which is 4. So totally plus 4 into the rest of the terms are x plus 2 whole square into y minus 1. Then another term is this 3 and this 3 factorial this 3 into 2 will get cancelled. We have only minus sign. So minus of the rest of the term is x plus 2 into y minus 1 whole square. And again the last term is 0. So we completed the expansion.